Every holiday weekend is a great opportunity to source profitable online arbitrage products because lots of sales and deals are going on. Memorial Day is no different, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to find profitable products on Memorial Day sales. Make sure you apply this in terms of taking a look at future sales, Father's Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, and then holidays, Black Friday, etc. Um, with that. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, post videos all the time, helping you guys make more money on Amazon. Let's get right into it. So as we can see, Adidas has a nice sale going on. It's actually an additional 30% off off the lowest ticketed price right here. We can also see that there's really big cash back with Be Frugal as well as Rack Chin right now. So you guys wanna make sure you're taking advantage of those cash back extensions. They're free to have, they're gonna make you extra ROI. Life is good, basically. So we're gonna talk about how you can make money from home, buying products from big retail websites at a discount like Adidas, selling them on Amazon's platform, it's called online arbitrage. It's what I use to make multiple six figures a year in profit, just buying stuff, shipping it to me, and then processing that inventory, sending it off to Amazon basically, although uh, now I use a third party warehouse in a sales tax free state right here. So we're gonna see what we can do and see if we can locate some profitable products on uh, this Adidas sale that's going on. Now, if you're a beginner, I'd much more recommend reverse sourcing, which you can see in some of my other videos, but manual sourcing is good too, especially um, on days like Memorial Day, Father's Day, 4th of July, when different sales are going on on different websites right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna scroll through here and find listings that we think we could sell for double or more on Amazon right now. Uh, you, you guys have seen my other videos, I typically look through the men's section of stuff, I'm gonna do the women's one in this, see if we can find some profit and such. But even if you can find like one good product per hour, two good products per hour, you're making like a hundred bucks an hour basically. So there's much worse ways to make money and it's on your own time. It's a lot of fun. You could do it with your friends. Life is good. All right, let's see what we got. So let's see y'all. These are uh, some basic colors right here. We'll take a look at those. Um, these at 28, I feel like those could be 56 plus right there. Um, those are like 28 as well, 29 right here. Those are the same thing as those. Let's see, cloud form. Those are nice and cheap too. We'll take a look at those for sure. 48 right here to see. These are looking a little, I just couldn't really see these being like 70 bucks plus, I don't think. Um, right there, cloud foams. I've sold some of these before in some other colors. We'll take a look at those right here. And then basically all we wanna do, right, is we would just wanna look at these and we wanna copy and, copy and paste over the name right here and plug this in on Amazon and then see what it's selling for, basically. Okay, Run Falcon 2.0. Interesting, okay, so we can see there's actually um, a couple listings for these that are like, some of them are you know kind of the same and such, but either way, like we can see now, this is a different product right here, but it still has 7,500 reviews right there. So it clearly sells a ton, right? So why not look for that too, right? We got 7,000 views here, 31,000 uh, reviews, or 3,500 reviews there. So we'll take a look at that. Um, I believe though, these these are all women's though. So these are different. Is there a women's one as well? Well, that's the 2.0, the cloud foams that we want too. So it seems like we're not gonna be able to find those. But what we can do is we can see here on Seller App, which is one of the tools you're gonna wanna use for this stuff right there. A lot of you guys don't know, you can actually move Seller App around like that too on there. So what we wanna do in this case is hop down to the variations right here. And now what we wanna do is actually be able to see which of the variations is selling the quickest, right? Which comes from uh, taking a look at how many reviews each variation has, because there's obviously a lot of colors, a lot of sizes and stuff like that. So we wanna make sure we're looking at the right ones basically, which comes from on Keepa. What we can do here is we can actually filter top to bottom by the buy box price or by the lowest price um, right there. And then we can actually see the amount of reviews it has. So how quick it sells, right? So the stuff with the most reviews sells the quickest. However, we can see over here on the left, Amazon's actually selling some of these. Now, I personally don't like to compete with Amazon. So what we can do is go here, equals, and then no price. And then we can take out all the ones that Amazon's on. And now we can see if we filter by the lowest price, there's some stuff without a buy box that still has demand, right? And it's all low competition. It's all like one seller right here. So like, I feel like in some of these common men's size, we might be able to do some stuff here as long as we can look at the Keepa chart and see movement still. So if we go down here, we can see, if we go to the year long, we can see, yes, yeah, so these clearly do sell. Now, do I think they're gonna sell a lot at 92? I don't, but if we could find these, you know, really nice and cheap, we'd be in uh, in business. Okay, potentially right here. Let's see, 48, all black right here. Okay, and then we're getting the savings. So it's 48 right here. So 48, 
times 0.7. So we're paying 33, right? Um, and this is, so we want, uh, we got, yeah, black gray right here. Run Falcon 2.0, run Falcon 2.0. Okay, so if we can find any of these all black ones that are, and they got a bunch of sizes too, that are like 65 plus, we're gonna be in business. Do they have black and white too right here? Ooh, okay. Okay, so they got black and white right there. Black on black gray, okay. Size seven. Ah, so a size seven's out of stock right there. Um, however, if that was in stock, it would be profitable. Run Falcon 2.0. Yeah, run Falcon 2.0. Okay, because it would be, yeah, 48. 48 times 0.7. Right, so that is very, very profitable. And then we can see this actually does sell up there too. Um, so we can see that that does sell being that the competition has gone down. I'm sure it would sell quicker if it was like 70, which luckily still a really nice ROI um, right there. But unfortunately that one's gonna be a patch because it's not in stock. But um, we know if we're at 70 plus on any of these black ones, that we are gonna be in business. Okay, any, any black ones at 70 plus right here? Damn, okay, unfortunately not. All right, no problem. So we'll pass on those see drama the men's ones and it's legit just rinse and repeat like the same process um, basically the whole time pretty much and the beautiful thing is there's so many listings to look at like there's so many listings and you just got to find you know 100 different products profitable that you can restock here and there and you know a consistent way to find new ones and such and then you, know, you don't have to work a job or anything like that so life is good wow these white ones are expensive so 100 bucks white cloud silver Interesting. Now, see, these aren't selling, I don't think, because the competition has gone down, but I'm I bet they would sell at like 70. World Falcon. Okay. So we might have an uh, opportunity to undercut the market right here. Cloud White, Cloud White, Metallic Silver. Cool. Okay. All right. So first uh, fringe product of the day, because um, we're paying, let's see. So we're paying 48, right? Times 0.7 right there. Um, now, I would, something like this, I would. The nice thing is this one guy's not really changing his price. You could hop in at like 75 and see what happens basically. But something like this, it's an 11 KBSR. Someone's going to want that um, right there. So that's like not a bad item at all. And the nice thing is when the competition's are slow, you could so risk-free, you know, buy one or two of these in each size that makes sense, toss them up FBM and, and life's good, right? And not have to worry about, you know, shipping into FBA, doing a bunch of orders, anything like that. So yeah, we definitely got some stuff in uh, in here. Got the white, oh, white ones are even cheaper or black and white ones. Wow, yeah, here we go. Run Falcon 2.0. Ooh, that's the problem though, is these are not the same thing, I don't think. They might have the name incorrect because those do look very similar. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, Run Falcon 2.0. Okay, so the Amazon listing name is incorrect. Boom, okay, so these are the same thing, cool. All right, so right here we can see we're only paying 42 times 0.7, right? So we're paying 29 bucks and look at how well these sold when they were cheaper. Right, this, so that's cool. Like basically the game just comes down to being able to navigate variations correctly. But like we already got a couple of things um, that are buys, you know, especially if you're if you're newer as well. Look at the sales rank on this thing. It's 454 right there. That's absolutely fantastic right here. And wow, look at all this stuff that's high priced with no buy box here as well. Right, I feel like we could pay like 50 bucks for these, you know, but I mean, we're gonna find out right here, but it doesn't have to be hard guys. It does not have to be hard to find stuff. Um, and now are these home run products? Absolutely not. But some of you guys are sitting here not able to find any products. So you should take some stuff like this here and there. Like absolutely. Right here, okay. All right, so these are looking a little higher retail. You got buy one, get one 50% off here. Black and reds. 96, these are it's 80. 80 times 0. 0.75. Eh, 60 even though this is like 120 plus. Right there, all right, no problem. Seems like those retail pretty high as well. Take a look at these. 147 rank looks potentially pretty good. Let's see what we got. And let me know if you want more of this just off the cuff stuff. Cause I think this is what actually helps you guys is seeing like the actual process of finding stuff. Like I know it's it's intimidating when you're new and stuff, but you just gotta get through the initial setup process and, and get the ball rolling with stuff. And then it, it becomes a pretty repeatable process. Like for example, we can see all of these sell and all of them are expensive. Now this one sells the most because it's got 73 reviews right there. But like if we can pay 40 for this, like this is gonna be a nice little product, which who knows if we can, but let's see. Purple tin, okay, that is not the case. Ooh, maybe. 37, QT Racer 2.0, 40% off. All right, well, let's look those up. 
yeah, look at this. And then look at how quick these are selling too. Like this is awesome right here. And if you can just get a higher margin, like, cause this stuff is, it's not like, you know, incredibly good stuff, but when the competition's so low and you can buy box immediately, right? There, there's fewer, better situations to be in, especially because you can buy box FBM when there's really, really low competition. And then you don't have to worry about placing a big order, waiting for it to check into Amazon. You can learn a lot quicker basically on that. All right, let's find another profitable item or two. All right, 74 right here, 72, 70, right? I feel like we could find these for like 35 bucks or less. Yeah, these have sold a lot in the past, wow. You just QT Racer, QT Racer 3.0s. So this might be like a newer, a newer version right here. So these are all brand new. See how these are all tracking since like 72? You guys wanna move your columns around like this so we can uh, situate like that and such. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, if we can find these, I feel like we can find these pretty cheap. Ooh, Adidas is on them themselves. Um, now, I don't mind competing with the brand when it's like Adidas and we know we're not gonna run any issues. The problem is being priced competitively. Right, there's the problem. 37 looks pretty cheap there. Let's see, Cloud Foam. Because we're seeing there's like a lot of V2s and V2s of the, V2s and V1s of the stuff. So like, let's look at all these right here. We might as well just, it's like an absolutely going down rabbit holes left and right here, but there's a ton of, a ton of profit to be had. I also potentially, let's see, let's look at, uh, let's look at this one as well. Yeah. So we got a whole bunch of good listing. I know this started out as a manual thing, but you find these rabbit holes when you're at sourcing, you just go down them, right? Because the goal is to be, is to be looking up quick selling stuff, right? And regardless of, of however that happens, like that's how you get results. All right, let's see. So let's see, we want to be looking up stuff that has demand right here. And then, yeah, so to do this, all you need is keep on seller amp, um, nice and simple. You guys will see me use that in all my videos because that's what I'm doing for my own product research. 26 is very, very cheap there. And another 15% off, wow. Okay, well, I would be shocked if these weren't good. Okay, so these are 35, so let's get Amazon out of stock here. All white ones, core black. Definitely don't have a 12 though. Yeah, okay, so these are out of stock, but we can sell them. So I have a good feeling about these if we can find them anywhere in stock. Ooh, problem is Amazon just went out of stock. So probably pass on those. Let's see, are there any other colors going for a lot right here? That was a banging deal though. Let's see, burgundy right here. Keep it looking nice on this too. Cool, okay. All right, 40 right there. Now this is, it's not amazing by any means. Um, like 75, yes, it's not quite good. Yeah, there's there's sales tax though involved too. And this is a women's shoe, there's no rec. And I, I would pass on this. Sure, you wanna set your ROI for a women's shoe at like 35, 40% at least, just cause of returns, basically. But yeah, feel free. You guys should be going through all this stuff on your own, these other, uh, these other listings and such. Let's see, here. Five. Damn, we got a bunch of these that are out of stock, or that have uh, no buy box. Cool. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of these. Ideally, the quickest selling ones, which I actually just didn't just click. But if we can pay, you know, forty bucks for these, we're gonna be in business. Just getting my time up right there. Oh yeah, cool. So yeah, like we can see these have sold in the past. White acid red. Okay, not seeing a match on these. Can, however, I like the look of these with the BOGO potentially. Can go ahead and Google image search this as well. 39, 40 right here, okay, boom. All right, yeah, here we go. Women's right here. This is a 40 bucks, so, all right, now we got a good one. Yeah, okay, here we go. 40 bucks right there, lowest price, is but like 80 right there and then the nice thing too guys right so we can see so we got a whole bunch of sizes in stock right here right and we can see down here like all of these check out at a 40 dollars cost right one two right they have demand they got super low competition too right there's so like all those check out yeah like 80 bucks right there we're paying 40 maybe there's a way to coupon these two um further but women's cloud foam pure 2.0 they're not bad at all. $31 profit, 
80% ROI right there. We can see, you know, are you, are you gonna end up selling these maybe closer to like, you know, 80 in some size? Sure, right? But then you're still making, you know, 45, 50% right there. And something like this is a great beginner item because you can buy just like one or two of them and list them up FBM and not have to worry about the FBA process waiting for inventory to check in and because the competition solo can get on the buy box fast. So I want to do some more of these videos where it's not like great opportunities for sourcing, but it's stuff that as a beginner, you can go ahead and find like all you guys can go ahead and, and find this stuff, learn to filter by variations, look stuff up, and then you can make money without having to worry about with competing with a bunch of people and stuff. So let me know your guys thoughts on this and I'll see you guys in the next one, but get out on the field, get seller amp, get Keepa, start doing product research and you can change your life.